Hi everybody, Kenneth G. Hasty here once again. Do these free videos for sales managers, for business owners, for salespeople as a way to help you become more successful. And in doing that, I help build my brand for Kenneth G. Hasty at KennethGHasty.com. And, you know, everybody wins, right? So today I want to, uh, I, want to I do a lot of reading and a lot of studying, a lot of statistics and things. And I came across an article that I, that I thought was really good, so I'm going to share it with you. Um, and give the credit to the author was Stephanie Hutnick. You can look this up on the internet if you want to get better details. It's well researched. It's called Interesting Stats That Every Sales Rep Should Know. And, and, and I find that these stats are in line with a lot of the research that I personally have done as well. So I'll just share it with you the way they're putting it there and see what you think. All right, ready? Here we go. Let's try it. So number one, the best time to cold call somebody is between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the morning. The worst time is between 11 in the morning and 2 in the afternoon, statistically proven. Number two, the best day to prospect is Thursday. So why might that be? Well, you look at Monday, everybody's you know catching up from the weekend. Tuesday is when they dig into the meetings. Wednesday, they're kind of settled in. Thursday, you know, they're getting ready kind of sort of for next week. And then Friday, they're, you know, they're jamming the for the weekend. So Thursday makes sense to me. So file that one away. In 2007, it took an average of 3.68 attempts to meet somebody on a cold call. Today, it takes an average of eight attempts. So cold calling may not be as powerful for you as you'd like or productive, or you feel like your cold calling hasn't been as successful. That might be a legitimate reason for that. Number four, 80% of all sales require at least five follow-up calls. So if you're giving up after one or two or three, then uh, you're probably not going to get the sales. So keep following up, you know, just because they have a bot doesn't mean that they won't. Number five, 63% of people that you call on or you may, uh, give a presentation to remember the stories, but only 5% remember the statistics. So make sure to weave in some stories into your selling, okay? Number six, 70% of people purchase to solve problems. So the reason they're buying isn't the warm fuzzy, it's because it's helping them with a problem. So when you're selling, you've got a 70% chance of selling them compared to 30% of selling them by going warm and fuzzy by pointing out how you're solving their problems. So I think that's a good idea. Part of that, of course, is asking questions and understanding what their problems are, right? So don't forget that either. Then, people that buy typically have 58% more objections than people that didn't. Because face it, if they're not going to buy, they don't need to object much, and they're, unless they're just using it as a stall tactic or to you know, get away. But people that buy, they, want, you know, they, they have questions and objections, or they'll phrase a question in the form of an objection. So you know, the more confident you are in overcoming those objections, the, the better you'll be. And call it a coincidence, the number one reason that people buy is not because of your company. It's not because of your product. It's not because they like you so much necessarily. It is, drum roll please, it's your confidence. So go in there, be confident, get in there and get that business. So don't go in there going, hi, oh, you wouldn't want to buy anything today, would you? No, you know, you want to say, well, you ready to buy from me? Let's do this now. Let's do, you know, whatever your confidence looks like. Uh, go ahead and do it. So anyway, Kenneth G. Hasty here. If you like these videos, then please like them. And if you like them a lot, then please forward them, retweet them, share them, etc. And we'll keep doing them. So thanks to everybody and thanks to the audience. I know people all over the world watch these now and I very much appreciate it. So you know who you are. Thanks everybody. We'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.